compare physiological and pathological forms of neonatal jaundice. The onset is usually after 24 hours of birth in case of physiological jaundice, whereas it is within 24 hours of birth in case of pathological jaundice. Peak is usually within 3 days in case of physiological, whereas it can be variable in case of pathological. The recovery is usually self-limiting within 5-10 to 10 days in case of physiological. It usually requires treatment and persists beyond 14 days in case of pathological jaundice. The serum bilirubin does not increase more than 50 mg per deciliter in case of physiological, whereas it does increase more than 50 mg per deciliter in case of pathological jaundice. The rate of rise of bilirubin is usually less than 5 mg per litre per day in case of physiological, whereas it is more than 5 mg per litre per day in case of pathological jaundice. Type of bilirubin that is elevated is usually unconjugated in case of physiological jaundice and it is conjugated form in case of pathological jaundice. The urine does not stain the clothes in case of physiological jaundice, whereas it does stain the clothes in case of pathological jaundice. Stools are normal in colour in case of physiological jaundice, whereas they are clear or white coloured in case of pathological jaundice. The palms and soles are usually not involved in case of physiological jaundice, whereas they are involved in case of pathological jaundice.